But right, in this clip, we're going to look at uh, putting on the floating strainer. So the floating strainer is kept on the top shelf on 141. Uh, 142, it's in the back. Uh, one of the things you're going to have to do is it's not does have it has no adapter pre-connected. So the driver's going to grab the strainer. He's going to have to grab one of the adapters. Bringing that around. So it also is a six-inch NST threaded fitting, and it's a female. Again, the better practice is to have your hose already connected. That way you don't have to worry about it swiveling. He's going to grab that same adapter that we just saw on the low level. He's going to thread that on. So that's a 6-inch cam lock to 6-inch NST male. And you see it threads right in. Hand tight is generally okay. Same deal. He's going to get it in position. The uh, floating's just a little more tricky because it's a little bit bulkier, but the cam locks down pretty good, and we're set. So that's the better practice. Uh, I mean, you could take the adapter out of that low level, but that would be time consuming. That adapter that the driver just grabbed was right out of the pump operator's compartment, and the same will be true for engine 142. So same deal, the better practice is to have your suction hose already connected to your pumper and then hook your strainer on. That way you don't have to worry about any twisting. You know that your hose is in the correct position on the pump panel.